everyone. Welcome back to Explore Electronics. Now let us see see some important questions for exam in digital signal processing subject. So let us go module wise and these questions may appear in exam and here the expressions are problems with values which they are shown are just examples to show how the way of question can be asked. Okay. So in module one, you will be uh, having a DFT completely. So prove that the sampling of DTFT of a sequence X of N result in N point DFT with a diagram can be asked. And one question will be there on uh, finding the DFT of the sequence. So you may get uh, in the different ways uh, of sequences how and you need to calculate the DFT. So to find the N point DFT for the sequence and show that multiplication of two DFTs leads to circular convolution of the corresponding time sequences. And the first five points of eight point DFT of a real valued sequence is given, find the remaining points. And there is one question will be there on properties of DFT you need to prove. Here only two properties are shown. All the properties derivations you need to uh, proofs you need to learn. And coming to other problems you can see seven, eight, nine and ten. So these are the different kind of questions you may get in module one. And don't stick on to these questions or problems with these values. These are the kind of questions you will get in exam. And let us move on to module 2. Module 2 is additional DFT properties, linear filtering methods based on the DFT. So here also the filter uh, response questions will be there. You can see here by means of DFT and IDFT determine the response of the FIR filter with impulse response this and input sequence is given and overlap save method is um, repeatedly asked one question will be there on that and develop radix 2 dft dit fft algorithm uh, write a signal flow graph for n is equal to 8 and these kind of questions will be there on radix 2 and also you can uh, see question number 5 and 6 but don't stick on the values so these are the kind of questions you may get in module 2 and coming to module 3 module 3 of design of fir filters so here prove that FIR filter having impulse response with even length and symmetric nature has linear phase response can be asked. Consider a three stage FIR lattice structure having the coefficients with this values. Realize this filter in direct form can be asked. And low pass filter is to be designed with the following desired frequency response is given. You need to design the filter. And you can also see the other questions like determine the coefficients came of lattice filter corresponding to FIR filter described by the system function also draw the corresponding second order structure realize FIR filter whose transfer function is this in direct form and explain different types of window techniques used in design of FIR filters with the with their windows techniques so these are few of the questions comes under module 3 let us go to module 4 in module 4 again it is IIR filter design. Here the low pass prototype is given. Determine the high pass filter with cutoff frequency this and determine the band pass filter with center frequency this is the question may be asked. Using BLT design a second order low pass Butterworth filter with the cutoff frequency is given and the sampling frequency is 8000 hertz. And uh, we can also see 3, 4, uh, 5 questions. These are the sample questions taken from the question paper, previous question paper or model papers. So these are the kind of questions you may get in module 4 on AIR filters. And then coming to module 5, you can see module 5 questions over here. This is about the digital signal processors. So DSP architecture block diagram can be asked based on the Harvard architecture and uh, explain the architecture of TMS 320C 54X family processor and given the FIR filter with uh, uh, gain of 4 assuming the input range occupies one fourth of the full range. So these are the questions you may get and discuss briefly the following DSP hardware units. This question may expect uh, you can expect. So here uh, the block diagram and uh, explanation kind of questions you may get in module 5. And also convert the following decimal numbers into Q50 in the presentation and uh, 
discuss the following i triple e floating point formats so in module 5 you can easily get uh, marks you can learn all these uh, theory part of questions you will get here so this is about dsp few questions and as i mentioned here these are just for example don't depend on these uh, values or problems these are the kind of questions you will get in examination so these questions are made by looking at the previous question papers or the module papers and uh, other important question papers so these are the kind of questions you will get in exam so this is about dsp important questions thank you